thousands of visitors come to the resort town of Ellicottville, New York. They come for the scenic beauty. Golf. Skiing at Holiday Valley and Hollymont and shopping in the historic downtown. Although the community offers many forms of recreation, there is clearly a need for safe, free, family-friendly activities. Greetings and welcome to the Ellicottville Great Valley Trail Project. My name is Joe Wright and I'm the marketing coordinator for the Ellicottville Great Valley Trail Committee. Behind me here you can see the first stages of the Ellicottville Great Valley Trail, which were recently cleared here at the Town Center in Ellicottville. The first section of trail under development will go from Elizabeth Street by the Bowling Alley, go north along the east side of Elk Creek, then turn towards the Arboretum, pass through the park, and come out in front of Town Center. There it turns east and goes along the base of the hills over to Route 219 and emerges by Tim Hortons. We asked Crystal Abers if she thought a recreational trail would be appropriate for Ellicottville. Absolutely. I can't think of a better place in Cattaraugus County than Ellicottville to have a recreational trail. Number one, you have the tourists there. And what this is, is it gives them something different that they don't already have to experience. And trails are great for families. Trails are great for seniors. Um, you can go at your own pace. Communities are more and more getting to uh, walkability. And Ellicottville has, has, as you say, all these recreational activities and a trail system that's walkable would just add to everything. Uh, transportation, safety, um, exercise, it's just, it's a perfect match for Ellicottville. If you look at, Ellicottville has really two really busy times of the year, winter and summer. And you, you put a trail in, into that, and it, it makes it a four season recreational area. Mm -hmm. Because what do you do when you stop skiing? Mm -hmm. You're on a bike, you're riding, you're hiking. It just, it just makes sense. Mm -hmm. Is there an advantage to uh, families with young children to having a trail here in town? Absolutely. Um, to me, the biggest thing is safety. And to have families, young kids, on the trail and not on the road. Um, even sidewalks can be a little treacherous at times. Mm -hmm. But um, it would be a huge benefit. And the, and the state sees that too. Mm -hmm. This project first started in 2016 with the construction of our trailhead at the town center thanks to Terry Fuller and the students at BOCES here in Ellicottville. We were fortunate enough, I was contacted by Ken Hinman about getting involved in the Ellicottville Great Valley Trail Project. Um, initially, I had talked to Ken about we could probably saw the logs for him and be able to supply a majority of the material. We're very fortunate in that the conservation class here has a lease with DEC for the state forest and they saw all the logs and bring them here and then we'll bring them into the mill and saw the material that we need. So as our discussion progressed, we started talking, Ken and I did, about actually going to the site and building the project. So we're very excited about being able to do that. This is the first time in 20 years that, due to the proximity of the project, it's only five minutes down the road, that we're actually going to be able to take the students to an on-site project and, and build this project for the Ellicottville Great Valley Trail. Constructing the pergola for the trailhead gave Terry Fuller's class some actual hands-on experience in constructing a building they had helped create.
I want to congratulate the committee. The committee has worked uh, diligently on this, uh, Kenny, since what? Uh, 2012. 2012. And Ken's been the committee chairman and the, and the president. And give credit where credit's due. There's been a lot of people that, that did a lot of work. There have been a lot of people that uh, uh, contributed monetarily over the years with donations. And it's really good to actually see a trail now. And what we have done right now is we flagged the clearing limits, had everything cleared and grubbed, and grubbing means ripping the roots out on most of the brush. Some of the bigger trees are still in, and we haven't done the bulk earthwork yet. That's still to happen. But what this trail will look like is it will be a eight foot wide traveled way that will be um, stone dust trail, similar to Pat McGee trail, those that are familiar with that. The Ellicottville Great Valley Trail presents a great opportunity for the greater Ellicottville and Great Valley communities as we strive to link them with other communities via this trail in Western New York and the Southern Tier. Please check out our website at evgvtrail.org to find out how to get involved with this project or to donate. We thank you. Thank you.